Hey guys, I'm here with my current favorites and I'm actually refilming this video because I filmed it yesterday and the camera was out of focus. But anyway, it's a lovely sunny evening, so let's chat about what I'm loving at the moment. I'm very comfortable in my sweats. I'm pretty sure you are too. Just made myself a big cup of coffee. All my milk so good so yeah let's talk about sweats because i tend to get questions from you guys on my lounge wear quite a bit this is a new sweatshirt i got recently it's um light gray and it's cropped it's from pretty little thing which is a brand i do not recommend because i i uh, placed a big sort of lounge wear order and i had to return half of it today because everything was such horrible quality, so cheaply made, threads were coming out. This is one of the things that I like, that's nice quality. It's soft and fleece on the inside. I also kept um, a cap and uh, gray leggings. The rest of the stuff went back. So yeah, do not really recommend it. The stuff looks way better online on the models. In real life, it's horrible. Um, but this one is cute, I recommend it. So I'm gonna link it down below. And also, these sweatpants get so many questions from you guys. So these are the most comfortable and the best sweats I've ever owned. They're thick and fleecy on the inside, super comfortable. These are from H&M men's section. Um, I got them in either small or extra small, I don't remember. But yeah, they're super cute and I wear them all the time. I live in them practically. Um, another sweatshirt that I adore because of the style of it and also this color. This shade, this sort of pistachio shade is everything. I love it so much and I kid you not, every time I wear it, my inbox is full of questions on this sweatshirt. So it's from Bershka and it's like 13 euros or something. Super inexpensive but I honestly wear it every single day. Like I chuck it in a wash, wear it for a week <laughs> and they have it in really beautiful colors. The sort of baby blue which I want to get and it has these rips on the neckline so it's like a dog has been added <laughs> or something um, but yeah this color is just gorgeous so i love it if not sweats i live in my robes uh, that i want to mention as well because they're so stunning and you guys are probably sick of seeing me in these but honestly i just adore them they're by a lithuanian brand called la tendresse which is a french name uh, but it's owned by a lovely girl and she makes these robes in four different colors, black, burgundy, gray, and white. So I have two of them. Uh, this gray one and then this, well, it's not really white, it's more of a cream one. It's so cozy, so beautiful, looks very elegant and sort of a, I don't know, a sophisticated robe. And these are cashmere and the trimming is uh, silk and also the belt is silk. So yeah, quite luxurious for wearing around the house but it's something that's definitely gonna last for years and you know you look very put together I feel like wearing a very um, classy robe like this around the house so yeah I adore these so much the last fashion -y bit I'm loving is this little top from Zara it's like a spaghetti strap top um, it's very stretchy it's the sort of cappuccino color um, it's ribbed, looks very flattering on, and I feel like Zara is copying Skims, Kim Kardashian's line with these, because um, they're making lots of different shapes and like textures of these, like fitted sort of basics, and um, looks pretty cute with just sweatpants. <laughs> Recently someone asked me to film a jewelry collection, which I think I will do. I don't think I will do because yeah, I want to share my favorite pieces with you guys and recently I was sent two new pieces of jewelry by Daisy London so you guys might know I always wear my uh, Daisy uh, ring. This is Daisy and Estée Lalonde's collaboration. So Estée released two collections with Daisy and I adore them so much. Like. I want every single piece. The jewelry is so beautiful. So you might know I always, always wear my snake chain. This ring, they're sort of my signature pieces. I never take off. I sleep, I shower in them. 
they're always on my body and I have these hexagonal earrings. Um, so those are the three items I purchased myself and never take off. Then Daisy sent me as a PR gift, or just to say thank you for supporting them, um, a T-bar necklace from Estee's collection not too long ago. And recently they sent me two more pieces. So these stunning earrings, they're like, square hoops and they're like wavy. I think it's such an interesting um, and unique design. I adore them. I think they look great as an everyday piece. They layer with the rest of my earrings so beautifully and it's it's a very classic um, timeless sort of earring that I think I'll keep for years and years and probably pass on to my daughter if I have one. <laughs> um, but yeah, these I haven't taken off ever since I received them, as well as this chain. So the chain isn't from Estee's collection, this is just Daisy's um, regular line, but a new uh, piece, I believe. Uh, so yeah, it's just like a little chain, but what I love about it is that um, the links are different size. So you have a bigger and a smaller link. And yeah, I wanted to have this sort of simple um, chain that I could wear every day that would go with everything. I actually really like how it looks with just a sweatshirt on. Um, and yeah, as I said, I'm, I haven't taken it off ever since I got it. I might layer it with my snake chain um, for every day and uh, yeah, I think it's gorgeous and I'm gonna link them down below for you guys. Um, check out Estee's collection if you haven't already because yeah, I adore the jewelry. Okay, now let's move on to my beauty favorites, I guess. I have quite a lot of stuff to show you guys. I've been loving Carista's Genesis line. Um, these three products, so shampoo, conditioner and leave-in spray. This is like a leave-in conditioner slash heat protectant and yeah, please try this line. I love Carastas in general, you probably know that by now, but this might be my favorite um, line so far. The Genesis range is created to prevent uh, your hair from falling. So it's not especially for thinning hair. For example, if you heat style your hair and it breaks, it snaps, falls, um, then it's not good. So these products are geared towards breaking and uh, falling hair. Uh, so they're supposed to hydrate and strengthen uh, the hair. I've just been loving them because they make my hair silky, they smell incredible, which is all I need really. I need my hair to be very easy to comb so that I don't break it even further and uh, I want it to smell good so that I would be sniffing my hair afterwards like I am now. It smells so good. These three um, as well as my Schwarzkopf rose oil are my like ultimate combination and Kerastase products are really high quality so you need a tiny amount um, to wash your hair. This one is great too because it doesn't weigh my hair down. I can spray a ton of it in my hair once I've washed it and um, yeah, it doesn't feel heavy or grease or anything. Okay, then I have two skincare favorites. I've been loving my Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. So I adore their um, Silky Cleansing Oil which is from the same chamomile range. It smells the same, it's just a different texture. It's, uh, it comes in a bottle with a pump, so very easy to use. But I was sent this one to dry out and I love it just as much. I don't even know which one I prefer. Maybe the oil because of how easy it is to use. But this one, I mean, the result is the same and this one is great. It smells like a home spa and I love this line so much because you don't even need to use cotton pads You just uh, take a little bit of this product Rub it between your palms to warm it up then I massage it into my face Takes all my makeup off even um, Still burn mascara. I just massage my lashes together takes everything off doesn't sting my eyes It just leaves my skin moisturized and happy and I absolutely love it and highly recommend um, Either the oil or this um, cleansing butter the other skincare product. I've been enjoying recently 
is Korean product. I'm not sure of the brand. It says Pink by Pure Beauty. I was just browsing in Drogas. Uh, it caught my attention, so I thought I will try it. It smells really, really fresh and just mm, invigorating. Um, and yeah, it is exactly what it says, a dewy lotion. So I love applying it before my makeup, um, sort of as a hydrating base. It sinks into my skin like that and it, um, it just leaves my skin very fresh and dewy. And uh, I think this is a great product for teenagers. If I were like 15, 16, that's all I would wear to school, just this dewy lotion. Um, I actually like to apply either a serum, an oil or a cream on top of it for nighttime, but for daytime it's really great for like under makeup. And it's not greasy, so your makeup won't slide off. Another one I've been loving, it's actually my holy grail product that I've been using for years. It's Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Um, one of my favorite lip balms, uh, along with Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Recently I've been using it for my eyelids to create that glossy eye look, because uh, I've been shooting some pictures and it just looks amazing in pictures, in my humble opinion. I just love that glossy lid look and some of you asked me what's that product on your lids and it's this 8 hour cream. You can use it anywhere on your body uh, where you have dry skin. If you don't have it, you definitely should have it in your beauty stash. Now makeup wise, I've rekindled my love for this Benefit What's Up highlighter. Actually I thought I lost it but I recently found it in one of my old makeup bags and Ever since I found it, I cannot stop using it. This is the highlighter I use every time I wear makeup. So it's like a cream highlighter in a stick form. I just go like this and then blend it out with my finger and it just gives the most beautiful golden glow. I love that it doesn't have any shimmer or sparkle. It's just a beautiful glow, which is exactly what I like in a highlighter. And um, yeah, it has a brush on the other side, which I think is useless. And I really don't like Benefit's packaging um, in general. I think it's pretty tacky, but the product itself is amazing. Okay, for my eyes, the combination I've been doing and loving recently, I'm gonna come a little closer so you can see my eyeshadow is from Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette. I use this pink sparkly shade. I can't remember what it is and like um, a matte sort of peachy um, nude color in my crease. So I use two shadows and then I do an eyeliner, Maybelline Sensational Liner. Um, it caught my attention because of the interesting shape and because of how skinny it is. I love these super skinny marker sort of liners. You can get a super sharp, precise line with it. And I only do my eyeliner from like, um, I would say middle of my eyelid and outwards. And the mascara I've been loving is Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. Now I have this tiny travel sized one. Um, I just love the result that it gives to my lashes. It just makes them super long and thick. The one has natural bristles, which I like. and. Yeah, the result is gorgeous, but this mascara smudges like a little fucker. I always have mascara on my lower lash line, like smudging. Um, so I don't know how to solve that problem because I love the effect that it gives. Um, and I'm pretty sure Charlotte doesn't do waterproof version. If she does, that would be amazing. The sun is back. <laughs> Continuing with Charlotte Tilbury, I want to talk about my current favorite lip combination. So I've been doing lots of lives and like Insta stories recently. That's my Instagram handle in case you're not following me yet. Um, yeah, and I've been wearing this lip liner and you guys ask what's on my lips. I found out about this liner in one of Lisa Eldridge's um, tutorials where she did makeup on Jasmine Le Bon, who is a 90s supermodel. And she said that this used to be a secret weapon of 90 supermodels. It was the lip liner that they were all using. So it truly is that 90 supermodel lip color. It's by a brand called Arcancil. 
and the color is bamboo and um, I remember seeing this brand in Eurocos so I think it was maybe two years ago I ran to Eurocos and purchased this lip liner and I'm not sure this brand still exists in Eurocos probably doesn't anymore um, but if you can get your hands on the brand and this exact lip liner definitely do it's amazing um, it's sort of like a deep nude color so what I do or like um, a rosy nude I would say what I do I just apply it here and then my cupid's bow as a lip liner sometimes all over my lips if I want that more intense nude look but on top of it, I like to use either my Maybelline Choco Cream Lipstick, which is a lighter nude, or this one by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a mini one that I have here. It's um, her lipstick called Penelope Pink, which is probably my second favorite lipstick of all time after Choco Cream. And it has melted, so I'm not even gonna show you because um, I'm trying to scrape the last bits of the lipstick with a lip brush. Um, but yeah, I'll have to purchase a full size of this lipstick. It's a gorgeous shade and this is what I have on my lips today it Has been my favorite lip combination. Okay, I have two more um, Beauty things to talk about my nail polish again I get questions from you guys on the color that's always on my nails Don't mind my nails right now because they have outgrown um, It's a gel polish by Victoria Vin and I'm gonna link down below where you can purchase it in Lithuania. I'll also try to find a link for you guys who aren't from Lithuania. It's called Velvet Agate. It's number three. This is what it looks like and if I could wear one nail color for the rest of my life, this would be it. This nail polish. I've been wearing it for over a year, maybe a couple years now. I do gel nails at home myself with a lamp. Um, and I'm actually gonna film a video on how I do my manicure at home because I desperately need a manicure. Um, but yeah, this is what's always on my nails, pretty much. I change it up to white in summer um, or like a dark cherry color. Um, for Christmas, but usually it's this one. Okay, and the last beauty favorite is a perfume and This is a very special perfume because I got it recently in Grasse in the south of France um, my friend and I we went there for a day trip and we found this it's world's perfume capital we stumbled across this little boutique called uh, thousand flowers it's owned by a lovely Canadian lady. She, I believe she's called Jessica Buchanan. Buchanan? Um, and yeah, she's the owner of the boutique and she's also sitting there and making perfumes in her little cute little shop. And I believe she has six or seven different um, scents. And we both fell in love with this one. Pink pepper wood, so both my friend and I purchased it. Um, so as you can tell from the name, it's very peppery. It has pink pepper, cypress, incense and sandalwood. So yeah, it just smells very spicy, peppery and woodsy and it's just, it's just incredible. Actually, I'm not wearing any perfume today. It's so beautiful. My only complaint with it is that it doesn't last very long. It lasts for a few hours and then you need to spray it again. Maybe that's because she uses lots of natural uh, notes in her fragrances. But either way, it's absolutely stunning. I believe it also has geranium. She actually has a website I'm gonna link down below together with her um, Instagram. I'm not sure if she's still working during this time and whether she is accepting online orders or not. But if she is and you guys are looking for a new perfume to try out, um, check these out. And I love the fact that probably no one around me will have this perfume because it's so like special, unique, little niche brand. Um, so yeah, those are all my beauty favorites and now I want to talk about my random favorites. So the music I've been listening to lately, music is a massive part of my everyday life, cannot live without music. So lately I've been listening um, a lot to Frank Ocean, James Blake and Niall Horan. Also Louis Capaldi and James Bay, but they're like my ultimate um, singer that I always listen to but especially recently lots of um, 
those three that I just mentioned. Also, The Weeknd um, has a new album, which is really nice as well. Oh, and I'm on my Instagram, I'm actually doing 30 day song challenge uh, where I have to share a specific um, song every single day. So make sure you watch my Insta stories. You might find some new music you might like. And I also generally tend to share lots of songs that I'm enjoying. Um, that I have on my Spotify playlist. Books, I've recently read The Catcher in the Rye and I adore this book. It's a classic that probably a lot of people had to read at school, but if you haven't read Catcher in the Rye, please do. It's a book um, that I couldn't put down. As far as TV shows go, I just finished watching Unbelievable with my cousin Linda. Uh, I think it's only eight episodes. There's only one season on Netflix, eight episodes. It's actually a very grim show because it's a crime show about rape, so not a light watch or entertainment at all. Um, but yeah, it's about two female detectives solving rape cases and it's about this young girl being raped and then um, being falsely accused for lying about her rape. It's pretty sad to watch actually, but a really good show nonetheless if um, you want to watch something not as fun and positive, check it out. <laughs> so now I'm gonna start watching a new show. It's either gonna be Money Heist, Messiah, Captured, or um, Tiger King, one of those, pretty sure. Um, yeah, as for movies, again, I wanna mention a movie that I loved recently, but the movie is not fun or positive. <laughs> Sorry guys for recommending such bleak things to you at this moment, but if you wanna watch a very deep, sad, emotional movie, watch Waves. It made me bawl my eyes out for like, I think I cried good eight or nine times watching that movie. Um, everything built up. I was still in home isolation when I came back from France. I couldn't leave my house, couldn't see my family for weeks, um, couldn't be with my dog. The current situation in the world, work anxiety, watching a movie at 3 a.m., which is the most vulnerable time. Um, started feeling very lonely and isolated everything got together and the themes in the movie and i just couldn't hold it any longer i had a good cry session which was really nice as well i needed to release all those emotions felt pretty good the next day but yeah it just hit me so hard that movie because it's yeah you have to watch it it's about what might seem perfect like seemingly perfect family and how things can go so wrong and take such a wrong and horrible turn it's about relationships with parents with your peers it is coming of age movie as well it deals with a lot of grief love separation losing connection with your loved one it's just super good. So I think that's gonna be it for me. We have lost sun <laughs> already and um, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys are safe and uh, don't feel too sad or lonely. Sending you lots of love from me to you. Mwah. Take care of yourself guys. Don't go party. Stay home as much as possible and um, this shall pass too. And uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon. Bye!